the E11 blaster rifle, the choice of blaster for the Imperial Stormtrooper. Let's take a closer look at this iconic weapon. Hey there everyone, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so as you can see here, we have one of the most iconic blasters from the Star Wars films. It's the E-11 blaster, which is the weapon of choice by all standard Imperial Stormtroopers. As you can see on the box here, a nice picture of the blaster itself. This, incidentally, is made by Shepard and Design Studios, this particular model that I picked up from and they are based in London, England. Now on the side there you see the Shepherd and Design Studios logo there. If we go round to the back we can see a little bit of information there um, with reference to Andrew Ainsworth and he's put his signature down 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 the bottom there. And uh, you've got the serial number of the gun up there, which all, all of these guns from Shepard and Studios do have their unique um, serial number. And it says here, in 1976, Andrew Ainsworth of Shepard and Design Studios created the original Stormtrooper helmets and armour for the first movie. I'm sure you, you want to have a look at... Uh, what uh, what's hiding inside so uh let's let's take a look okay so when we open her up we're greeted with firstly the shepherdon design studio certificate of authentication and it gives you the serial number of the gun there as well like, as i said earlier all these guns have their own serial numbers. So that's that's a really nice touch. So it comes quite well packaged. We have the bubble wrap here. So what we've got is we have the Shepard Design Studios booklet here. Now this basically tells you what they do which is really nice should, should you wish to, 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 to get more from, from the studios itself. So I think that's, that, that's really nice them then putting this in here for you to have a look what they do. And that's great and there, there's a gun there. So that's, that's re really nice, that's really nice. So in the box we also get a business card from Andrew Ainsworth, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, that's, uh, was there any need to put that in? You may think, well, no, not really, but I, I think that's that's really nice. It, it's, it's, it's showing you that this is um, a piece of quality here. Okay, so in here, we also have the stand that the blaster can go on, and it's got the the number on there. So that's that that's the stand, and that fits up by these two pieces here, and also we have that piece that goes in the bottom of the gun. I'll show, I'll show that um, um, in, in a while. So, if we get the, everything out, and as you can see, it's all nicely put together in the box. And I've got to say, this is absolutely awesome. What a piece of work. You can see on here, where it's come out of the moulding, okay? If you wanted to, I guess you could uh, sort of like work on it a little bit to sand it down, etc. But uh, 
I'm keeping it as it is. What about that then? Isn't that a lovely looking, lovely looking blaster? It's a lot lighter than I expected. I expected it to be heavier, but if, if you're out trooping, that's a good thing, because you don't want a heavy blaster while you're out trooping. So this, this would be really nice. And the detail on this is really, really good. You know, now this, this part here, that is uh, an addition to the later ones of these. Uh, in the first film, that was missing. So obviously the later films, they, they improve the, the blaster a bit. But what a nice looking gun that is. And to actually own one of these uh, is is fantastic because I, I I grew up with with the original films and watching Han Solo, Princess Leia, uh, Luke Skywalker, and the Stormtroopers all with this, <laughs> and actually owning one is 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 brilliant. Here we have the magazine where the magazine part goes. Okay, now there is a right and wrong way to put these in on here. <laughs> We've got a little curve, okay, that goes towards the front. And basically, it's just a push in, and it's in. And there we have the blaster all ready to go. Really, 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 really nice, nice looking piece. On the back here, uh, we have the authentication number of the gun. So that's the number of the gun. And down the side, you have a little crosshairs there, which, which is a nice touch. You look down there, you can't see nothing through it. But as I say, this is, uh, for me, it's going to be display purposes. But what a nice looking, looking gun. And I'm, I'm happy because it's from Shepparton Studios. This was modelled, or this was moulded from the original uh, blasters themselves from the movies. So this is as close as it said on the box. This is as close to a movie prop you will get without actually having the own movie prop. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. So that's 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 the gun. That's the blaster. Um, incidentally, this was modelled on the British Sten gun. So uh, let's uh, let's get her on the stand. Before I get to understand what I was saying, this pin, okay, there's there's a hole in the bottom there, okay, this pin goes in the hole on the handle there, and if you have a look on here, we have a hole, I don't know if you can see that, there's a hole just there that the pin goes in, okay, so uh, let's get to understand. And here we have the E11 blaster as it should be displayed. And it looks really awesome. We're really loving this guys. Uh, actually owning a E11 blaster, what Stormtroopers have, the iconic blaster rifle is, is just great. And I wanted to pick one up from the Shepard and Design Studios as opposed to some other companies out there that do reproduce these because I wanted one that's reproduced from the exact mouldings, which this one is, um, which is fantastic. But it all depends what your budget is at the end of the day. 
But uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And until the next video, long live the Empire.